My husband and I were married for about a year when we decided to start trying um, to have a baby. When we got pregnant right away, we felt like it was the perfect part of our story. About seven and a half weeks in, I started bleeding and we lost the baby. We decided that we wanted to keep trying and we weren't put off by the problems that we had and we, you know, we knew that one in four women experience miscarriage, so okay, we've dealt with it and now we can go on to have a wonderful family. We got pregnant again right away and um, we were cautiously optimistic. A lot of people will have fertility issues and here we tried twice and it worked twice, so we kind of felt lucky a little bit, like we get a second chance right away. And then we went to our 12-week appointment and found that there wasn't a heartbeat and that we had lost that baby around nine weeks. The first time we thought it was a fluke, uh, the second time we started talking about, well, maybe there's something wrong with one of you two. At that point, we started to get really concerned and really worried. Why was this happening to us back to back? What was going on? Uh, the doctor suggested some testing and we got pregnant again. And I wanted to try an IPT testing. It was a simple blood test and we were able to just draw a couple vials of blood and um, know with pretty good certainty did we have a risk of losing the baby the same way? Um, were there other risk factors? And as soon as we came back from our Thanksgiving trip, we had a doctor's appointment and the doctor's office, the staff, they were like jumping up and down when we got into the office. They're like, we have your results, we have your results. And but they told us everything was fine, which was such yeah. a tremendous relief. Like it wasn't clear to me we could make a healthy baby. And you know, we could, lo and, <laughs> lo and behold, it was fantastic. It was a wonderful feeling. David's five months old now and um, his giggles are incredible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Somewhere around two or three months, he really kind of woke up from his sort of newborn sleep and he just started smiling right away and he does it all the time. He's a happy little man. The rest of my pregnancy went really well. At 39 weeks and one day, we had baby David and the moment he got to come back to our room and we were like left alone for the first time was the weirdest, most incredible thing. We could just sit there and, and hold him and he was there with us. I, I can't describe it, it was, it was amazing. And we came home and we walked into the house as a family of three and he proceeded to sleep for the entire day and we thought we had it so good yeah. and we were like, we are so good at this parenting thing and then he didn't sleep the whole night and cried the whole first night at home and then we realized it's a little bit harder than we thought <laughs> those first two pregnancies we weren't expecting any problems and then suddenly we have genetic abnormalities which are ending the pregnancy and so by the third time our psychology had flipped completely where now we were kind of expecting something to go wrong Walking around not knowing is a really tough thing and the mother's psychological state's important also. So if she's walking around super stressed out while she's pregnant, that's not good for anybody. I would definitely recommend NIPT screening for all couples. That amount of uh, uh, confidence uh, goes a long way for couples. These tests are so incredible. They're so advanced. And they offer you so much information with such little risk. To have that peace of mind really made a difference for us and we could actually enjoy the pregnancy and get ready to bring our son into the world. And it's a wonderful feeling now um, that we have a son and David's part of our family. <laughs>